Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. Welcome to a new mini-series where I cover my results from leveling through each zone in World of Warcraft. This data is being collected in order to make my new leveling guides. As you can imagine, going through each zone in WoW, sometimes even twice due to faction differences, is going to take a while. So, in the meantime, I'll share my findings with you. Since the process of leveling was changed in 9.0, including the introduction of Chromie Time and the removal of heirloom buffs, zones give different results than before, and that's why I'm redoing them all. I'm not going to repeat the ground rules again so as not to bore all of you who saw the first episode. If you haven't seen it though, please go watch that so you can understand my results and not wonder why yours may look different. Let's get right into it. Alright, so for our first alliance-only zone, we have Tiragard Sound. You can come into this zone at 10, so I did, and went from 10 to 33 in 238 minutes. That is a good few hours there, and but you get 23 levels out of it if you come in at 10. Obviously, that's going to be a lot less if you come in in the later ranges, but not too terrible for 23 whole levels. Uh, this zone is really long. There's a lot here. I did everything in the zone. There's a lot of quests. <laughs> it's not... I'm sure there's a better route you could do here because it's very scattered. There's there's uh, not a whole lot of rhyme or reason. You just kind of have to pick a direction and go for it because the main storyline doesn't really overlap with all of the other quest lines that you can do. Which seems to be kind of a trend for the BFA Alliance zones, but either way, not too bad. Uh, you'll get, you know, 23 levels if you do the whole zone. For our second Alliance-only zone, we have Drestvar. This one's a little more famous since, in my opinion, and many others, it's the best of the three Alliance BFA zones. You can come into this zone at 25, but I came in at 30, so I didn't have to go back to grab my flight license. So I went from 30 to 45 in 243 minutes. Also a really, really long zone. That's a good few hours there. I got 15 levels in the 30s range though, which is not bad. This is not the best zone for that range. However, it's really the f because of the first half of Drustvar is really good. The first half is good, and then the last half is where that time really starts to dip. And what I mean by that is once you cross Aram Stand, the big mountain range that divides the whole area, and head over to the west, those quests are a lot slower. So I went from 30 to 39 in about 100 minutes. So that's 12 minutes per level there for nine levels. So if you do that, that's pretty good. That's possibly usable in the future for me. Um, but that, those last five, six levels there were the extra 140 some odd minutes there. So that's just, youch. Ouchy ouchies. Um, yeah, good first half zone, not great second half. So something to keep in mind. And for our third Alliance-only zone, we have Stormsong Valley. You can come into this zone only at 35 plus, which is a bummer. Um, so I can only do the 35 plus range. I came in at exactly 35 instead of 40 because I knew that this zone would want to give me a lot more than 10 levels, and I, it did. I went from 35 to 50, the whole last range there, all the way to 50. Um, and I didn't even complete the zone. There was probably about one more quest chain hub that I did not finish. Um, but I, I did all that in 275 minutes, which that is not great time. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of levels going from 35 all the way to 50 in one single zone, which is pretty powerful. But uh, at 18-ish minutes per level, that's, that's just not great. Uh, but regardless, if you don't want to leave a zone and you want to go from 35 all the way to 50, the Storm Song's got you covered. All right, and now we have our faction neutral zones, which the first one is Mechagon. This is an end zone area for Battle for Azeroth and is identical for both factions, uh, for both Horde and Alliance because of that. And it's not a questing zone. In case you couldn't guess, 
since it is an end zone. There's not really like a quest chain here that you can do. I mean, there's some, but it's very short. You don't get a whole lot of experience out of it. The treasures around the island are pretty good. You can actually get a good amount of uh, experience from the treasures themselves, not so much from the dailies or the quests that are there. So there is that, but you're not technically supposed to be on Mechagon until level 50. So that doesn't really help us for the 1 to 50 range. Um, but for the 50 plusers, you could come loot some of those uh, treasures if you wanted for some extra XP. So that's a thing. And for our second faction neutral zone, we have Najatar, also an endgame zone, not really meant for leveling. You technically cannot come here until 50, much like Mechagon, and you don't even get the quest for this until level 50, which is a bit of a shame, honestly. I do wish you could come here earlier. Uh, even then, there's not a whole lot of questing to do here, even at level 50. It's pretty short, and... Yeah, so not really a leveling zone, but it's pretty neat. Lots of water and fish. All right, on to the horde-only zones. So the first one we have is Zuldazar. This is the starting zone for Horde BFA, which means you can be there at level 10. So I went there from 11 to 34 in 208 minutes. I also came back at 40 and did it from 40 to 50 in 178 because the 11 to 34 range was really good. Um, a lot better, as you can see here, than the Alliance one by a good 30 minutes. Um, and I could probably even do it better now that I have a little, a better grasp on the pathing because the thing about BFA zones is there's a linear quest chain but then there's all these other quest hubs that are not part of the main storyline quest chain. So if you get a grasp on where they're all at, you can start putting together like a good route. So I could probably even do better times here, but it's it may or may not be worth it. I mean, even in the 40 to 50 range, that's 17-ish levels per... Uh, 17-ish minutes per level, excuse me, there. So it's 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 great, but not as good as I would like. For our next horde-only zone, we have Nazmir. Similar to Dressfar, you can't come here until 25, so I decided to come here in the 30s. I actually started at 32, and I went all the way to 45 in 205 minutes. Not terrible, not amazing, right in the mediocre range. Um, much like Zuldazar and the others, you could probably have better pathing than I did uh, if you get, you know, once you get more familiar with the zone. But, uh, yeah, not, not terrible, not terrible. And for our final horde only zone and last zone in the BFA expansion, we have Voldoon. Much like Stormsong, you can't come here until 35, which is a shame in my opinion. And I went from 35 to 48 in 207 minutes. I actually did not hit 50 when I came here at 35 for some reason. I don't know if I missed a quest chain. I am pretty positive I did everything since I actually am really fond of this zone. So I, I know a lot of it pretty well. Um, but unlike Stormsong, I seem to not get enough out of this zone to be able to hit 50. But that's fine. Uh, it's just something to be aware of if you decide to quest here, so. One of my favorite zones in the game, aside from that. So, there's that. Alright, and there we have it. That is everything for the BFA expansion, which is Kulturas and Zandalar zones for the Horde and Alliance. And while the summary here was short, sweet, and to the point, the testing sure wasn't, because each zone is a good handful of hours to completion. So that's, it was long, but learned some valuable information there. These zones aren't terrible. They're actually pretty good. They're better than most other expansions for their level ranges, despite how long they take. So if you don't want to do Outland or Northrend or, you know, stuff like that, Colteris and Zandalar are pretty good. And the bonus is that the natural scaling goes all the way to 50. You don't have to have Chromie time because technically the base time quote unquote that we are in is bfa so yeah uh next up we're going to have probably warlords of draenor i have 
Draenor, Outland, and Northrend left. Draenor is going to be a bit of an animal because of the way the quests are set up, and I will explain that when that video comes out. Um, so expect one of the three remaining expansions left. I We'll see which one comes out next. Depends on what time I have. So, thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember, it's never too latte.